Describe the operation of a transformer. Now, what does a transformer look like? It's basically um, an iron core with a coil wrapped around each side, right? Something like that. And then on the other side, you've got the same deal, right? So what does this actually do? As it turns out, this isn't the only way to construct a transformer. All we need is for uh, an induced magnetic field in one to induce a current in the other, right? So we can, inf inf we can in fact put one coil inside the other and maybe even put uh, an iron bar inside that. So a transformer consists of a primary coil of wire and a secondary coil of wire. Usually they're wrapped around an iron core, but if you really wanted to, you could just simply place one inside the other. When an alternating electric current flows through the primary coil, a changing magnetic field is induced. Uh, if there's an iron core, the magnetic field is induced inside that core, and it will sort of contain the magnetic flux. So how does that affect the secondary coil? Well, the changing magnetic field produces an alternating electric current in the secondary coil uh, with a voltage proportional to the number of turns in the coil. Because of course, uh, that will change the number of uh, the amount of current is going to be the same. So if we have more coils, we'll have less current per coil and more voltage. The frequency will, of course, be the same. 